What's up YouTube? We got some facility upgrades, feeding the beaded lizard, unboxing, and our clutch number two reveal. So cue the intro, dive on in. All right guys, we have light. I don't know if you could tell, but we definitely have a lot more lighting going on. Watch, check this out. This is how it used to be. This is how it is now. So before, I had to use these softbox lights for everything, because I only had one fluorescent light way over here, so I had to use the softbox lighting for everything. So this weekend on Saturday, we installed, you can see them in the background, we installed six of these LEDs. You can see the patchwork I did up there. Yeah, so now I have six, that 5,000K, of the six inch LED can style lights in the snake pit. Man, this is gonna make my life so much easier. I don't have to work all over the room and everywhere I go, look at that, there's light. Over here, there's light. Yeah, I don't have to move any soft boxes around. Yeah, there's light, woo! And if you notice, see it works as a hair light too. I don't know if you guys watch like the professional vloggers like Peter McKinnon, but he was talking about hair lights. So I've always wanted to get a hair light, accentuate my hair while I'm filming. What do you think? Does it look pretty good? I think it looks pretty good. So anyways, let's jump over and do some feeding real quick. Okay guys, check this out. This is ready. This is our biggest Western hognose. I just bumped her up to rat fuzzies and she's taking it. Let's open it up, see if we don't scare. Well, that sucks. She's a shy eater. We'll leave her alone. Okay guys, so as you can see now, I now use a handling glove for pebbles. And uh, I'm moving him up to rat fuzzies too. And I, sep I separate most of my smaller animals when I feed them. Let me set the camera down and get him off the glove. Okay, so pebbles is now getting moved up to rat fuzzies. This will officially be the biggest thing he's eaten since I've owned him. So let's check this out. Wow, that was really cool. What'd you guys think of that? That's officially his biggest meal. I think that pretty much puts him in the once a week category. I'll have to do a little bit of research on that, but yeah, I don't think he needs uh, one of those twice a week. Definitely cool. Pebbles is getting big. I will put him up with my glove on. Yep. Mrs. Small Town's doing an unboxing today. Some presents from Puerto Rico. Oh my gosh, full tab. <laughs> Did you see me? That's mine. Don't open it, that's mine. <laughs> As you can tell, it's a lazy Sunday here. We're swimming in the heat of Bakersfield. Oh, very cool. Look at their earrings. Oh, They're ear snake. Snake earrings? Yeah. And headbands. These wow. are awesome. I was just looking at something like this yesterday. Cool. Aren't these awesome? Yeah. I really like these. Thank you. 
All right, so the other part of the package from Puerto Rico, my very first BBM reptile shirt. Yeah, buddy. And special edition, oh, wow. four horsemen with all four of our logos. Man, eat your heart out, suckers. Woo! This is collector's edition stuff right here. And this is my grandson, Vader. <laughs> He's a maniac. And I also got a package from uh, Georgia. One of my favorite breeders on the planet. Hardwired exotics movement, baby. Thank you, Tony, Cassie, and family. I also got a special edition COVID-19 sticker. And the standard hardwired exotics. If you want some hardwired exotics merch, make sure you go hit them up. You know, you guys know I love Tony and, and everything he does over there. So, uh, yeah, we got lots of good merch today. We're cutting out and going swimming. All right, let's do the sticker shout outs. Big shout out to Frenchy Bullies. We uh, got Zoe, our little French bulldog from them. They are excellent people. And uh, they also do a little bit of snakes and stuff too. They're over there in Florida. So go follow them on Instagram. And you guys all know I'm a big fan of Hardwired Exotics. You seen the shirt and the stickers out there. Tony's a great guy, man. Very inspiring to me. And uh, we get all of our shirts and stuff from Mike at the PC Works. And we just picked up another order of shirts. He threw in some stickers. Thank you, Mike. Okay, so let's look at some of the holdbacks. This is one of my holdbacks right here. This is a lemon pastel, yellow belly, disco, Het Pied, this girl is a female. Let's put her in my hand. Check this girl out. Look at the colors on her. Look at that crazy pattern down by the tail. All of these, this whole clutch is Het Pied. So this clutch is one of those things that uh, the males from Justin, JKR, the females from Dead Mouse, two of my uh, favorite breeders. This one's one of my holdbacks. Crazy pattern on these. So Dead Mouse has this, uh, what he calls lemon. It's, uh, it's a pastel, but it, it's hard to explain. It pops up and it has crazy pattern and stuff. And it's got a, a brighter yellow to it. It is compatible with normal pastel, of course. And look at this guy. This is a super lemon, yellow belly, disco, with a nice ringer, hat pied. I mean, again, the yellows on this thing are insane, man. The patterns are just crazy. I mean, these things look like lightning bolts coming down it. Look at that on the neck. I'm telling you, man, I would call this combo lightning, but they already have lightning pied, so I don't want to get anything confused, but man, this thing is insane, man. I did decide to let one go, and this is the one I'm letting go. This is a female too. And she's a very good ball python. So this one's a super pastel disco het pied. She's got an insane pattern when she uh, uncurls. Yeah, look at the tail patterns on all these. It's crazy. And look at all that stuff. That's like lightning bolts coming down. Where it should be alien heads, it's like lightning bolts. Pretty cool stuff, man. So congratulations to this owner. I can't say who it is, but uh, I'm sure he will in due time. Crazy! And here's another one. Super Lemon Disco Het Pied. 
again, it's like lightning bolts coming down, man. It's crazy. So look how the neck patterns are on these things. See how them alien heads are stretched out? It's insane, man. Look at the dorsal. Look at the V coming off the head. I'm telling you, man, this stuff is like lightning. Disco is definitely a sleeper gene after I've seen it in these combos. Insane stuff. And like I said, everything's het pied. And then we got like a pastel. Maybe a pastel yellow belly. Those will be for sale. Hit me up if you're interested in those. This one's a lemon yellow belly hat pied. That one will be for sale. Here is the sticker door. Big thank you to everyone you see on here. Thank you for helping me fill up my door. It's the coolest door I've ever had in my life. And that's 100% real. As you can see, there's only a few more spots at the bottom, way down there. So if you want your spot in there, your sticker in there, hit me up on IG. So as you can tell, we're always upgrading, always trying to improve, whether it's with the, the genetics of our snakes or facility upgrades. I, I'm still waiting on some sea serpent racks. I'm getting ready, getting the money together. I'll be buying another Freedom Breeder rack pretty soon. So onward and upward. Until next time, guys, keep your socks on, rock on. Ha, 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 ha.